What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Fitbit Lux versus the Fitbit Inspire 2. So these guys are relatively similar bands. They're a little bit smaller, and not only that, they do great fitness tracking, but which one is best for you? Let's go ahead, get right into it. First start with the similarities. They have pretty much the same dimensions in general. Even the screens themselves are pretty similar, even though of course we got a color screen and we have a monochrome on the other side. But their fitness tracker, they both have accelerometers, they have their heart rate monitor as well, and they both do pretty much the same fitness and sports tracking with five atmospheres of water resistance. And they also do auto tracking as well. So if you're going on a run, if you forgot to turn it on, it'll actually go about five minutes into your run, like you wanna track it? Sounds good, but both of these bands will do the same thing. Both these guys do have replaceable bands, and in the box themselves, they have a small and a large size for your wrist. So for those of you guys who don't know, it does have two different sizes in there, and they're both replaceable, so you'll be able to get anything you like with a couple of more fancy ones with the Fitbit Lux. And of course, one of the things, they use the same exact Fitbit app. I did a whole review on that Fitbit app, if you wanna check it out right up here, going through all the things that I like and dislike about the app, even talking about that, they both do come with a little bit of a trial of your Fitbit Premium. You get a year with the Inspire 2 where you get six months with the Lux, so there is a benefit that you do get a little bit of Fitbit Premium with that. And as far as his fitness and sleep tracking, they both do a pretty good job, both on their own. The thing with the Fitbit Lux, currently it's not mostly updated, so the SpO2 sensor on this that is not on the Inspire 2 isn't currently active, so won't give those more advanced sleep metrics, but currently they're doing the same thing, but you will be getting better sleep metrics with the Lux. They both do not come with a GPS or NFC payment built into either one so there's no benefit to either one on that regard. Alright, let's get into the user interfaces of both these guys. First, we're going to start on the Fitbit Lux. So when you're looking at it and you swipe down, these are going to be your like do not disturb modes, your settings you go into. There really aren't much settings like your display. Really aren't much settings in this, but when you double tap, it's going to bring you home. And then when you swipe up some more, you're basically going to have water mode and stuff like that. When you swipe downward, this is going to give you all your fitness metrics how your activity is going, where your heart rate is, your sleep score that you did last night, where your exercise and all that. Again, double hitting brings you home. And when you swipe to your right, these are gonna give you your notifications when you wanna start your exercises and you can actually customize this, which ones you can have at a glance. And continuing from there, if you wanna do some relaxation sessions, which is a little bit of a benefit with the Lux, it does have a little bit more relaxation built in couple of alarms, smart alarms, and even some timers built in. And of course, that brings you all the way back to the home screen. When you swipe the other way, it basically goes the other way, but that's pretty much everything. And all of your actual sensors are on the back. And these are replaceable bands, so if you are looking to replace this band to get a little bit extra fancy, you can definitely do that. This is the Fitbit Inspire. When you swipe down, it's gonna go to your notifications, your exercises. You do have some relaxation stuff, not as much as the Lux timers alarms we can jump into settings again not that much settings you can make sure you are turning on your phone gps right here if you want to go on a run turning your heart rate monitor on so it's a couple of these things actually won't be on double tap stuff like that clear usages device information all that built in and when you squeeze this is going to bring you back one squeeze again going to bring you back twice when you swipe down again all your fitness metrics pretty much everything built in and it has your active zone minutes where your beats per minute are, your resting right there again, squeeze bringing you home. There is no swipe right and swipe left, but when you do tap on this particular watch face, the bottom changes and it does that on the Lux as well. Let's get into the differences. First, battery life. The Lux is gonna be giving you about five days of battery life, where the Inspire 2 can get up to 10 days of battery life. I can pretty much account that to the screen itself being a little bit more vibrant. They say it's a 0.76 inch on the Lux, where it's a 1.2 inch on the Inspire, but to be perfectly honest, I don't know where they got those numbers. They look pretty much similar. 
Um, and not only that, you do see a lot more on the Lux. It is a little bit more brighter. The monochrome on the Inspire 2 takes a little bit more to see. When you are going to be charging it, when you're be charging the Lux, it is a magnetic charger and it charges in about two hours, so it just goes right on relatively easily. Whereas with the Inspire 2, it's like a clip-on mechanism with that and you, it'll take about another two hours to fully charge as well, but you'll get that 10 days of battery life with the Inspire 2. So we were talking about the sensors earlier. The two sensors that this has, it has a skin temperature sensor and it also has an SPO2 sensor. Currently, they aren't active right now. They will be active with an update. I haven't heard any timing on that update yet, but yes, there will be an update to get those available. So you'll be able to check out heart rate variability and your skin temperature, and you'll be able to check it out in seven day increments to see how it goes. But with the Fitbit Premium, you can actually see up to 90 days, so you can see better ways and ebbs and flows of how your heart rate variability, your skin temperature, and all your fitness metrics are going. So one of the things I do dislike about the Fitbit app is you, there is a little bit of a paywall with Fitbit Premium, but you do get that six months with the Lux, but you do get that one year with the Inspire. The casing itself, the Lux comes with a stainless steel casing, so it's pretty firm. And not only that, it comes in a couple of more flashy colors. I'll be posting them right up here, where the Inspire is more of a plastic cover. It does have a capacitive touch where you squeeze it and it goes back from there. So what are my recommendations with the two bands? So you do get 50% off when you are doing the Inspire 2. So if you are looking to jump into the fitness market, you need something a little bit smaller. The Fitbit Inspire 2 is a great tracker. It has pretty much the Lux has, and Nix, of course, the SPO2 and the skin temperature, but does great with pretty much any of your health metrics, great with sleeping as well. I'll link a video right up here about my review on the Fitbit Inspire 2 if you want to go a little bit more in depth on what I thought about the band itself. But yes, if you are looking between the two and you need to save a little bit of money, the Fitbit Inspire 2 can also go on sale. So typically around 99, 100 bucks, but it can go on sale for like 70 bucks as well if you hit those good times. But if you are looking to get a little bit more flashy and you are looking for a more solid build and even better sleep tracking, the Lux is gonna be where it's at. You're really not gonna see any differences as far as your fitness training is concerned, but with sleep tracking, you'll see a great difference on the Lux and not only that it is a lot better feeling on the wrist it is a lot more sturdy and it is going to be a lot more durable in the long runs so the Lux even though it is $50 more I think you'll really be happy with it if you are looking for something a little bit more fashionable but a little bit more smaller on the wrist typically this is a little bit more towards women, but this is a great band in general. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button if you did, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first ones to know when my newest tech reviews come out each and every week. And if you use my links down below, it's gonna shoot you to Amazon. And if you use my links to purchase these items, a little bit of that is gonna help me grow my channel. But as always, be happy, stay healthy, and above all, Stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.